Seriously, amusement park in the rain. This is working for you. It's good. Hey, raincoat meets meets shades. Is this working for me? Yeah, you look super cool. I do look pretty damn super cool. I, I don't know why I even ask anymore. What did you? Okay, you ready? You ready? Oh my goodness. We just made our way into a country that displays neutrality in most times of war. They cut cheese with tiny little knives and they have a very sexual sounding language. Where are we? Switzerland? No. We're in Sweden. Since the dawn of time, the travel show formula has remained unchanged. Until now. Are you serious? It's a plastic horse. This isn't Troy. You're not filming like a Hollywood production with like a billion dollar budget. He's on a plastic horse in the rain in Sweden. There's enough stuff to be afraid of in the world. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna pay money to be afraid of more stuff. 30,000 nuclear warheads just all over the world. Nobody even knows where they are. You know what I mean? Okay, Tobo, you'll take the rise of me, right? Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Go ahead and do something else. I will do something else. I don't do rides. Hey, you're such a wuss. <laughs> wuss, a ride is basically a torture device where they just figure out right before you're gonna die, they stop it there. You know what I mean? So I will shoot some guns and win some bears and I will do some, I will have some freaking fun. But I do not do rides. <laughs> See you guys. Have fun. Hey, more tickets. <laughs> Helium! Juggling clowns. What are you doing? I'm calling Fab. We gotta bail on this place. Get it, get out to the entrance. We have to go downtown. I'm having a great time, man. You better get out here. I will tell everyone what happened to you in the summer of 2008. Do you want that? I don't want that, but you're actually me. Do you want that? Yeah, yeah. He'll be out here. In Scandinavia, blogging is hot. I'm gonna track down one of the hottest chicks. She's got one of the hottest blogs. How did I do it? Obvious reasons. You have to be like, you know, rich and intense and super famous with a minimum of five bottles of Moe to like, you know, venture around here? No, not at all. That's why I think it's sort of the beauty of it. It's, it's like a really fun mix and that's what I think makes Stockholm so special. And the nightlife here is like nothing I've ever seen. All the women here are gorgeous. That's a given. <laughs> but I mean, most of the guys have kind of a metrosexual look. Yeah. Let's just admit that sure, right away, right? Sure. All right, okay, you with me? <laughs> yeah. Now, I see a lot of this. They just kind of stand there. <laughs> You got gel back hair, you know what I mean? And some expensive clothing. Yeah. And they call that what? Uh, Stärkere. When you think of a Stärkere, it's um, someone with his father's money, a pink shirt, a slick back, and way too tight jeans. But the best part of it is this. I heard about something called washing. <laughs> yeah, so have I. Apparently, it is when a Stärkere will buy uh, <laughs> a champagne bottle and um, either pour it out uh, straight away in the sink in front of the bartender or just pour it out next to his table on the floor just to be unbelievably nonchalant and uh, or tip the bartender to pour it out for him yeah yeah if you're gonna be even worse today and tomorrow and I think Saturday is something called summer solstice or midsummer night super midsummer which is the year, the day in the year that is the lightest, the longest. Basically, the whole city closes down. Uh -huh. There's not a shop open, not a restaurant open. Everyone goes to the countryside. I think it's sort of like a Christmas thing. You share it with the ones you love. Only in summertime, super yeah. wasted. Yeah. <laughs> with no presents. Yeah. And no family. Yeah. And just a whole bunch of drinking yeah. <laughs> and fighting and raging and light sticks okay. and nothing like Christmas at all. Yeah. Well then. Whatever.
You live your life like an open book. Don't you find that kind of concerning on some level? The worst part about it is I love it. <laughs> I crave it. <laughs> I, I mean, I love the fact that you're open about it. I hate the fact that we talk to people like, do you, I mean, do you like the tension? No, no, it's so annoying when people come up to me on the street and it's amazing. hook up with someone in Sweden. How does that work? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I think it's easier than other places. <laughs> I think that, um, and I, I know that Sweden has a reputation for having the easier girls, and I, I actually think that's true. Uh, so I think all you have to do is go up to girl and tell them they're beautiful and uh, work your choice. What's up with like Sweden and Stockholm and the women here? They have style, man. They have class. Is it hard to hook up with chicks like this? No, not really. If you look good. How yeah. often do you hook up with these girls? Every time you go out. Every time you're out. How often do you go out? Four or five times a week. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh jigging. Oh, I'm getting oh, jigging. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. oh, oh. oh. Stockholm is the best city in Europe, full stop. It's incredible. Right now? Right now, it's beautiful girls, but for real, the girls here are the best in the world. I mean, basically, you know, ever since I've started drinking in the morning, I've just become way more social. And I think people recognize that and appreciate that overall. Now filming. All right, okay, ready to go? Yeah. All right, so Midsummer Night's Eve, you know, give me the insight. I mean, what, uh, what's it all about? It's a very secret night. What does that mean? It means that you're not even going to take a part of it. Why do I feel like the kid that's super fat and left out and picked last in the gym? You're not like uh, one of us. That's harsh. I mean, that's just harsh. Yeah, and I know, I know, I know, and I'm sorry about it. The whole city is closed. Everything shuts down. Everything shuts down. You're telling me nothing in this city tomorrow is going to be open. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's shut down. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> lighter, give me a lighter. Come on. Yeah, real nice. Appreciate that. All right, look. How are you doing? Uh, are you Fine. solving Swedish economy? economy? You're doing My what? father is a mother. <laughs> Your father is a mother? Yeah, it's true. I go to this location tomorrow, noonish, and there's going to be nothing around. That's what you're telling me. That is exactly what I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're serious. I am serious. <laughs> okay, I don't know about I am, that. I am. Swedish people. I don't know. Maybe we should just go. Hold on. This entire place is in fact dead. Who is it? Teddy. Hello. Yo, Teddy, it's Dex from last night. Last night, I, you know, I guess I kind of, kind of didn't believe you uh, when you told me the city would be empty. But <laughs> no, I just talked to the to the cab driver. He, he was like, uh, the only people that are in the city are lost tourists. <laughs> yeah. But what I would suggest that you do, uh -huh. take uh, one of these boats. What's that? I think you the name of the island and uh, and I. Teddy? Ted. Ted. Teddy! Come on. Teddy! Yay! Who's gonna text me the name of the island? What are you guys up to now? Where are you going? You're like all dressed up, like yeah, looking pimps. We're going out to a couple of uh, friends from work, having a big midsummer eve party. Yeah. So it's not like you can just join these parties as a traveler, you know? Uh, no, you have to know someone. 
So in the city, yeah. it's pretty empty yeah. the, about this time. Yeah. Champagne and dress code. Let's get into that right away. I see champagne everywhere. <laughs> People just popping it, you know what I mean? Is it like a champagne culture yeah. where everyone's dressed in pink? Is that what's happening? Yes, it is. Do you guys, do you guys uh, steak? Do you guys steak? No, not so much. No, you guys, a little bit, a little, a little bit, bit, a little bit. Okay, if I wore to dress like a Swedish guy, what would I have to do? A shirt, jeans, maybe converse, back. Okay, I have to slick yeah. it all back. You look abnormally good. I mean, you, you, go, you go to other cities, people don't dress like this, you know, yeah. normally, right? Would you say you represent the, the standard issue Swedish look here with this look? Yeah. So this is in no way a Swedish outfit that I have on right now? No. This is pretty cool, I, I like this. Well, I mean. Welcome back to the wonderful world of cliché travel shows. Right now, we're right outside Stockholm in Sweden, where the rustique and nature dazzle the eyes and boggle the mind. But wait, are we really outside of Stockholm? No, we're not. Not even close. Because here, you can find a zoo. Vintage housing, cotton candy, popcorn, amazing people, and everything in between. But where do we find such a remarkable gem? Only in Stockholm, city centre. Are all travel shows seems like, like that? Seriously? I turn on the travel, like the travel channel once. The guy gets off a ferry, looks into the camera, and he goes, "Well, that's it for me and the wonderful world of ferries." The whole show had been about ferries for an hour. I've been to Dublin, Glasgow, and all with the use of ferries. So this is uh, very Swedish. It's like 50% of like all Swedish males do this, statistically. And it's, it's tobacco that's just put into these pouches. And then you just shove them into your mouth. And then the, 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 the nicotine enters your bloodstream uh, mm, through diffusion. And just like your entire just like body is like, uh, just like fuses with nicotine literally within seconds. With huge, massive lips. This is just so normal. Watch this. Show you this. Watch. This is so, this is normal. No joke. For some reason, we, you know, humans, we think we're so beyond the animals. Oh yeah, you know, we can just cage them up and kill them, do whatever we want, you're testing on animals. That's all fine, you know what I mean? The thing is, imagine if we put it in human terms, all right? So basically you go, well, we have to put them in, you know, zoos and cages to save them from themselves. Because if they're in the wild, then, then they're gonna get killed, right? So what if I came to you as a fellow human being and I made the proposition, listen, if I leave you out here and leave you free, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna murder you. So I'm gonna do you the favor of putting you in prison to save you from yourself. High five. Yeah, but then. No, 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 no. High five. No, 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 no. Johan, back me up here. Sorry, I've been listening at all. Johan, 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 if, you, if you're not listening, seriously, what is it you do here? Seriously? Sometimes I wonder what, what, what you even do at all. Can you explain your job description to me? Yeah. <laughs> well, Right behind us, we've got the essence of Midsummer Eve. But huge pole, lots of people danced around it to Swedish music with leaves in their hair. And the thing is, here's very touristy. Now, while we love the initiative, we love it. Uh huh. Excited about that. Uh, doing very touristy things. It's just not very Dexpedish. Okay, straight up. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take off. Okay. Uh, and you know, go back to the hotel room and do the one thing that we love most about Stockholm so far. <laughs> it's time to do some washing. And then, and then, it just cuts directly to me in the hotel room as I'm like shoving a whole bunch of champagne just into the drain, like with techno music yeah, blasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you feeling my editing here? <laughs> How come we couldn't get a bigger bottle? There's all, everything's closed, all the stores are closed. It's all that we had in the mini bar. We gotta wash. 
something. All right, let's wash it. Okay, ready to wash this bitch? <clears throat> okay, so we just washed. You feel any different? Uh, no, not really. I don't feel that much cooler. <sighs> not me either. Maybe, it's maybe it's because we didn't wash enough. Let's hit the mini bar. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, stop, 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 what was it? In the clubs, they pay the bartender some time to pour it out for them. Johan, Johan. Yeah, yeah, Jojo. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, pour it out for us. Can you actually believe that washing is a real phenomenon? They also have websites where you can pay to wash a champagne online. Look at this. Here you can send SMS, you can text something to some number, and they'll wash a glass or a bottle of champagne for you. Let's hear at a pre-party, all right? And you're like, you, you, you grab the computer and you're like, hey everybody, check it. I just washed for 4,000 kroner. And the checks are like, oh yeah, you know what I mean? Look at that stud, you know what I mean? Who who the hell are these chicks, you know what I mean? That calls into question this guy. What if some other guy turns around and goes, hey, hey, I just made a donation for 4,000 kroner to Amnesty International. Is he not getting chicks? Are they going, oh, what a loser. <coughs> he just saved an entire village in Africa. Hate him, love the guy who's pouring champagne down a drain. Left Stockholm to chase the Midsummer vibe. What did we do? Left town. How? On a boat? To go where? An island. To do what? To live the dream. No! <laughs> Everybody comes here to do what? Party. <laughs> Party. <laughs> What kind of moves do you you like? <laughs> What's your game? Shuffling. 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 This is great. <laughs> what is it all about? This is all about. It's like from the beginning it was like all about sailing, but uh, as you see now, it's all about partying. People want to look good and show off on their boats. Is this the only island that has this concept? No, no, no. It's, it, here you have, I think it's 10 or 20,000 islands. Someone watching this at home goes, how can I get in on that? Get to Stockholm, get a boat, get out, live your life. Lord, that's a beautiful answer. <laughs> if I if I were to, you know, like you, hit the gym and slick my hair back a little and just kind of sit down and get tan, yeah. would I have chicks like this just kind of sitting next to me all casually? Yeah. So you should really open this. No, I'm not. Do you want me to open it? Like, yeah. yeah. If I would fail, that would be so pathetic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we might have to <laughs> clean that up. Yeah. Don't be sorry. That was, but tell me about it. That's how we do it in Stockholm, okay? <laughs> this, this thing called washing. <laughs> Have you ever seen someone do that? Yeah, I've seen it. It's kind of disgusting, you know? Disgusting, yeah, yeah. You have three bottles of champagne, but you can bust get two of them. Yeah, if you're yeah, like, ah, oh, don't do that, <laughs> don't. <laughs> now it's the brightest time of the year, it's the best time of the year. After this, it's just getting sad and boring. <laughs> it's just it getting is. worse. This is, the, this is the top of everything. Like July sucks. Other, yeah, July sucks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, been on the island for about two seconds. Tons of party boats, tons of sexy people, tons of alcohol. One big party bomb waiting to go off. Time to detonate. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, 
sold like fraudulent securities on Wall Street. Yeah, but if you're here during the midsummer, get on a boat, get out of town, and get mentally insane. You can dance, you can dance. Everybody look at your pants. Look at his pants. say like hey how was your trip to Berlin but I would I would be more like hey Berlin how was your trip inside me you know what I mean 